Hey you, it's Reese, and we are back with another word. Um, this word is being brought to you by the number 433-433, and we're going to be using Strong's Concordance, both definitions, Greek and Hebrew, for this word. So I just released another word, and it was about um, the wicked and the lawless, um, but because of what God is doing in this hour for some of his children it's even going to cause them to say lord um it's going to bring them to him now this word is for the children that have been walking the children that have the children that have been walking in obedience the children that um are allowing him to call all the shots and i mean every single shot in your life every single shot in your life um, the ones that have been being obedient to his spirit and not quenching the Holy Spirit, um, going where he tells you to go, leaving where he tells you to leave, stop talking to who he tells you to stop talking to, bring back whoever he tells you to bring back or whatever it is he's calling you to do, even if it doesn't make sense to you at times, even if it doesn't feel good at times, even if it doesn't look good at times, you have so been obedient and walking in faith and trust in him. So this is the word for those of you, because this word is definitely not for everyone. This word is for those of you that have been walking pure and pure obedience to the father and faith, love and trust in him. So the first number uh, for first definition for 433 is to be fit, be proper is due, becoming, suitable, proper. Some other definitions, to have come up to, arrived at, to reach to, pertain to, um, is due to him. All right, so what is due? So the father is saying, for those of you that have been walking that walk, and y'all know what walk I'm talking about, because not every walk is this walk. Um, this walk is not for the faint. It's not for the weak, uh, though we walk in weakness and humility to the father, but he strengthens us through our weakness. Um, and because of that, we have been able to walk this long, strenuous, hard, and I mean hard, narrow walk because many are called, but few are chosen to walk the narrow path. Um, what are you saying? You have come to the right place. You have reached the time to be fit, to be proper, to receive what is due to you, um, becoming suitable and proper and whatever it is that he has called you to, whatever it is that he's calling you to do, whatever it is that he promised to give you, Whatever it is, he's saying the time is now. All those things will start manifesting. You will start seeing the blessings that he has been promising you. You will start seeing the reconciled relationships that he has been promising you. You will start seeing the increase financially that he's been promising you. You will start seeing these things, okay? And as he starts to do those things, what you're going to say and this is the second definition of 433, is God, God. It means um, Eloa, which means God, God. The things that he's going to be doing in your life, you're, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow you away. And you are going to say, God, God, like just, oh my God, beyond more than you can even imagine. So that is what he is doing for some of you in this hour. Elohim, Elohim. He is making all his promises manifest. He's making those things that he's been telling you, showing you, giving you revelation about. He is doing those things in this hour. He said, continue to walk, my child. Continue to walk. I am proud of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am proud of you. I will begin to start giving you those things that your heart desires because your heart desired me first. You will be rewarded for the things that you have, um, that you have taken your cross and started walking. 
you are in obedience with me. I can trust you. I love you. And you have sought my heart above all else. So I cannot wait to bestow these blessings upon you because you sought me first and left everything else to the side and put me first in my rightful place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, he's moving. He's talking right now a lot. That is what he is saying when it comes to this word. So those of you this word is for, remember, take it back to the Father. Make sure it's a word for you. Make sure it's a word for you in the season that you're in. Um, blessings, blessings, ch children of God, blessings. Um, it's been a long, hard road, and we still have a long way to go. And doing the things that he's called us to do. But this part of the walk, um, it, it's 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 coming to a close. It's coming to a close. Thank you, Jesus, for the relief and the refreshing. And, and, and just the blessings to be able to just take a breather for a moment. And say, God, God, thank you. Thank you, God, God, thank you for keeping your word, for keeping your promises. This is more than I even dreamed of. All right? So that's all I got for you guys on this word. Remember, till next time, God loved you then. No matter what you did back then, he loves you now. No matter what you're doing right now, and he'll love you in the future. No matter what you may do in the future, God loves you and he calls you righteous. So stay righteous. And if you ain't righteous, then get righteous. All right? And I'm out. Bye.